In the fourth part of my guide to undervolting, I said that I had completed Control Ultimate Edition as the, well, ultimate test to validate my UV profiles. At that time, I also mentioned that the Anchor boss battle had always triggered an application error, and as a consequence, a crash to the stop, aka CTD. This is the screenshot I took the first time it happened. Windows Reliability Monitor reported the faulting module name as platform rmdwin10f.dll or ghost api64.dll and the exception code as C000005, an access violation. What I would like to do is show you that CTD in real time. Ready? Any second now. And here it is. Let's check reliability monitor to see its details. And yeah, Fault module name platform rmdwin10f.dll Exception code C000005 Now, how to fix this error? On the internet you can find several solutions, some more creative than the others. But there's only one that consistently works, in my case at least. Run the game and set the CPU affinity for control underscore dx12.exe to your four best logical cores. There are many methods to find them, but these are my favorite three. 1. Open Event Viewer, Windows Logs, System, scroll and find the first kernel processor power as source or 55 as event ID. In general, processor 15 and processor 14 have a maximum performance percentage of 137. Processor 13 and processor 12 have a maximum performance percentage of 141. And so on. If I arranged my 8 cores from highest to lowest score, the rank would be Core 4, first place. Core 5, first place as well. Core 6, second. Core 7, third. Core 0, fourth. Core 1, fifth. Core 2, sixth. Core 3, seventh. In other words, Windows prefers to use the CPU cores in this specific order. 2. Open Hardware Info and expand Core Clocks. As you can see, the first value reflects the software rank 45671123. 45671123. On the contrary, the second value reflects the hardware rank 24871365. In essence, the CPU cores are placed in order of overclocking potential. 3. Open Ryzen Master. By clicking on the button next to Cores section, you can switch between OS, aka Windows Preferred Cores, and OC, aka Fastest Cores for Overclocking Views. Notice how the OS Golden Stars are awarded to the first two cores of CCX1. Once 
Moreover, note how the OC golden star is assigned to the first core of CCX1, the silver star to the first core of CCX0, and the silver dots to the second core of both CCX. Thus, all three methods are perfectly coherent with each other. Which best cores should you pick then? These, so core 8, 9, 10 and 11, or these, so core 0, 1, 8 and 9? To be fair, being the best cores is not a necessary condition, but choosing logical cores from the same CCX is. In other words, you must not, and I repeat, you must not go for core 0, 1, 8 and 9, or something like core 4, 5, 12 and 13. However, you can go for core 8, 9, 10 and 11, or even the worst combination, core 4, 5, 6 and 7. L, I'll set precisely this latter. Now, launch control. In the main menu, press Ctrl, Shift and Desk to open the Task Manager. Right-click on Game rmdwinetnf.exe, go to Details, Right-click on control underscore dx12.exe, set affinity. Untick all processors. And in my specific case, I'll tick CPU 4, 5, 6 and 7. See? No error, no crash, nothing. I can beat the boss without worries.
Now, I did not come up with this solution all by myself. I've just read a Google thread, compiled a list of all those that made sense, and tried them one by one. So I must give most of the credit to this user, Roger Ramjets from Australia. Thank you, Roger, and farewell for now.